But at Hamsterley, the poachers and the gamekeepers have forged a new partnership, which has led to the creation of one new course and the promise of others to follow. It brings a large number of cyclists from all over the country, not just regionally. We have the Northern Area Mountain Bike uh, Series coming here next month, and we also have the National Series coming here hopefully in September. So you're looking at upwards of 1,000 cyclists, both for the cross-country event and the downhill event over the weekend. So that's a large number of cyclists, but uh, the forest is big enough to be able to cope with those sort of numbers. The new downhill course means local riders whose bikes can cost an arm and a leg won't have to run up huge travel costs as well to compete. The downhill is another aspect which has been recognised as really needing to be boosted in this area. It's going to save people travelling away to other areas to use the skill development, to practice on courses, that type of thing. So we aim to have the whole thing set up in Hamsley for so all the local riders and youth groups can benefit from the whole project. But what do the riders think? The people here who have organised it have made a great effort in like, marking the trees and cutting bits out that would be dodgy rocks and tricky sections where it makes it much safer for most people to ride. As more people ride it, it gets more worn, so it gets more rutted and it's more difficult to ride. Especially when it starts raining as well, that we have a lot of rain here. So, Just how hairy are some of those uh, jumps and some of those steep descents? The top section is it's fine, but the bottom section, I mean, the very, the very bottom drop, I mean, that's the first time I've done it this week. It was, um, it was a bit, it was a bit hairy. It was falling apart the other day, so that's why I wasn't doing it. It was a bit muddy as well, but today is it's really nice today. Hamsterley Forest is holding an open weekend to promote the new facilities on June the 30th and July the 1st. Rather than the me, now fitness fanatics. Are... Now, take a look at this. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Time for some quiet reflection. You see, these northeast men just love behaving badly. No chance of a nice, quiet afternoon here at Hamsterley Forest. We'll drop onto the flat plane and then we'll go around onto the big drop off down to the tabletop. And that should be spot on. And these boys certainly hit the right spot every time. If not, they end up in hospital. This is downhill mountain biking. It's fast. It's dangerous, and Hamsterley Mountain Bike Association wants you to try it out. Right, this weekend, dear, Saturday and Sunday, we're having an open weekend to introduce riders from all over the area to come to the forest, try the facility out, see what they think of it. I'm sure you'll be very impressed with the work that we've done so far. And this is hard work. Mind you, riding a bike down a steep hill littered with rocks and trees isn't exactly my idea of fun. But downhill mountain biking is growing in popularity. It is dangerous. You've got to be mad to do it, surely? Not mad. Uh, it's just one of those things. If, if that's your interest, that's what you've got to do. Like, simple as that. It's, it has its dangerous aspects, but I guess if you keep your head about yourself and learn what you're doing, you can get by without too many injuries. <laughs> Even so, don't try out these stunts without proper training. These riders are aged between 15 and 40, and downhill mountain biking must be every parent's nightmare. It can be, yes. You can get very, very worried about it. I mean, uh, especially when they're young. It's taking off and seeming to disappear into the air. Big jumps. Yes, they, they, they can be a bit of worry from time to time. Well, I wanted to get on my bike, but it looks too much like hard work. Call me boring, but downhill mountain biking is best left to the experts. Ryan Swanson, North East Tonight, Hamsterley Forest.